By the powers vested in me as Vice Chancellor and Principal, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded to the candidates whose names appear in the program. We request all of you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. As Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this virtual graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome the Dean and the Deputy Dean of the Faculty, along with all persons to whom degrees and diplomas will be conferred and awarded to. We also welcome families, friends and spouses to this virtual graduation ceremony. This is the third virtual graduation ceremony the university has held in the past year, after we were obliged to depart from the traditional graduation format as a result of COVID-19 pandemic, which as you know, has made large physical gatherings impossible for the time being. Our first virtual graduation season commenced just 10 days after the declaration of the national state of disaster towards the end of March, 2020. It was memorable, not only for that sobering reason, but also for a more agreeable one. During those first virtual ceremonies, the University of Pretoria conferred 11,001 qualifications on graduates in absentia. This was a record number for the university and one of the largest graduating cohorts, if not the largest in South Africa at the time. I'm delighted to share with you that the autumn 2021 graduation season is now breaking that record. In this graduation season, we'll be conferring a total of 11,424 qualifications, including 198 doctorates and 1,289 master's degrees. This is a great achievement, especially in these uncertain and unpredictable times. Such an achievement is simply magnificent. I mean this on two levels. One is the outstanding personal effort you put into persevering with your studies when normal study routines and methodologies had suddenly been upended. And I'll say more about this later. The other level concerns the collective contribution of this graduating cohort to the skills of our country and more broadly our continent. Compared to the rest of the world, South Africa and Africa as a, as a whole a very low graduation rates per capita, a state of affairs that perpetually widens the skills gap. The fact that we at the University of Pretoria are now graduating such a large number of cohort of graduates is good news indeed for the development of our country and the continent. But this welcome injection of skills is not only about numbers. Just as important are the kinds of skills and the quality of skills that you, our graduates, will be bringing with you into whatever career or study pathway you choose to pursue from this point. For instance, the University of Pretoria students once again excelled in the ITC, the initial test of competence, which is the first professional exam for prospective chartered accountants. In November 2020, students from our Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences again achieved first position in South Africa. This feat followed on the first place we achieved in the January 2020 ITC, when an unprecedented seven out of the top 10 students in the country were from this university. In addition, UP won the 2020 Chartered Institute of Management Accountants SEMA Prize Winner Excellence Award, as well as the Institute's Global Excellence Award at its first ever virtual award ceremony. These awards recognize university partners with top performing SEMA students in case study exams, as well as university partners that have achieved the highest pass rates for SEMA exams. What makes these accomplishments even more special is that our students excelled despite the disruption of having their ITC exam deferred from June 2020 to November 2020 owing to lockdown regulations. Well done to everyone of you who was part of this incredible effort. 
Not content with notching up all the accomplishments I've just listed, we are also making history. One of our PhD graduates, Dr. Tumeka Mashova Raimudzisi, is the first black female chartered accountant to receive a PhD in leadership. This is a noteworthy achievement, testament to your commitment and dedication. Congratulations. If time permitted, which it unfortunately does not, there will be many other examples of achievement under pressure that I could share with you as testimony to the resilience and endurance of the human spirit. In my book, every one of you has shown resilience and endurance during unprecedented turbulence and upheaval. The university is proud of you all. All your hard work, tenacity and resilience has helped to get you to this point. Yes, the Institute certainly played its part. As the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Investor of Pretoria, I know what efforts and energies were invested in keeping the academic program going and enabling our students to succeed during the most protracted campus closures in our history. But what stands out for me is not the effort UP made in rolling out laptops and remote learning technologies, so much as the skills you, our graduates, gained from the experience. For our graduates to make a difference in society, they need to be creative, flexible, resilient, entrepreneurial, and collaborative. I can state with confidence that this graduating cohort has these qualities in abundance. They will save you and our country well. The university too has learned a lot from this pandemic. As you know, our preferred mode of teaching and learning before this health crisis has been the hybrid approach, a delivery model that makes use of traditional classroom-based learning tools supplemented by online and technology-supported activities. On the strength of our experiences online during this pandemic, we are reimagining the modes of teaching and learning that we are adopting for the future. Teaching and learning are going to be interesting spaces for innovation, creativity, and experimentation. Above all, we aim to provide a rich interactive experience that is educative and not just instructional, and which results in well-educated, skilled, socially engaged and sensitive graduates eager to transform our society, our continent and the world. We also aim to enable students to become graduates who can engage in lifelong learning where they unlearn and relearn. In this way, they can navigate the emerging world of work that is an outcome of multiple disruptions of the life and the world as we know it, including the disruptions caused by rapid technological change. In the near future, we'll be launching a center for the study of the future of work. Allow me to touch briefly on the disruptions you, our graduates, experienced during your studies in 2020. I know that all of you were affected by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic while you were studying. However, what I and my colleagues at the university do not necessarily know is what trials and tribulations you individually and personally experience while completing your qualification. We do not know the, what difficulties and distractions were going on around you while you were studying for that crucial test or writing or revising the next chapter of your thesis or dissertation or what additional responsibilities you took on in your living space and with regard to your loved ones while soldiering through your year of completion. Were you perhaps one of the many South Africans separated from loved ones as a result of traveling restrictions and border closures? What personal sadnesses and sufferings and hardships did you endure as a result of COVID or otherwise in that most crucial time of your studies? Did you suffer loss of family and close ones, friends, fellow students, or colleagues? My colleagues and I cannot know what your lived experience was as you told to complete your degree, diploma, or certificate. What we do know without a shadow of doubt is that your success is hard won and deeply deserved. Earning a qualification from the Investor of Pretoria is an achievement to cherish. Earning qualifications in the time of COVID-19 is in a class of its own. 
you, together with the 11,001 graduates of autumn 2020 and the 1,380 graduates of summer 2020, are unique. You have succeeded, and we celebrate your achievement today. On behalf of the broader community of the University of Pretoria, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. The graduation ceremony is your moment of triumph to savor, celebrate, share with family and friends, and remember for the rest of your life. We hope to one day return to physical graduation ceremonies where graduates can walk across the stage in the presence of family and friends and take photographs. For now, virtual graduation ceremonies such as these play an indispensable role in your journey with the university. This is because a virtual graduation is a legally constituted assembly that enables you to formally graduate so that you can receive your certificate and use it to open whatever doors you have intended to unlock, whether in the form of further studies, course at the University of Pretoria, or in your career or profession. May it lead you to more opportunities and serve you well. Turning now to the future, in the same way that you and your fellow graduates are on the stage of the next stage of fulfilling your dreams for your life, so is the University of Pretoria. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we've been using the challenges presented by the global health pandemic to begin rethinking, reimagining, and repositioning the university itself. The university can play an essential role in co-creating the country and continent we want post-COVID-19. Here at the University of Pretoria, we see an opportunity to be one of the agents and drivers of change in Africa and globally, finding and deploying innovative ways to address poverty, unemployment, inequality, and social injustice. UP, as you know, is a hub for new ideas. When it comes to COVID-19 research, we are involved at multiple levels. We are researching genome profiles to be able to identify who in the population is at higher risk of contracting fatal viruses and other diseases. We are also researching how people in society behave during a pandemic. Because if we don't understand this, we cannot manage the spread optimally. We have participated in international COVID-19 clinical trials and produced sanitizers, face masks, and face shields. Our Faculty of Health Sciences quickly incorporated COVID-19 into the primary health care curriculum. This is how we will need to respond to pandemics in the future, with rapid responses focused on multi-sectoral interventions. For example, our university is the only representative from Africa in the new University Social Responsibility Network, an international group of 16 top universities. And last year, the Times Higher Education's impact rankings rated UP among the top 100 universities in the world for its social and economic impact in three categories based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the SDGs. These are quality education, industry, innovation and infrastructure, and peace, justice, and strong institutions. We envisage a better, more sustainable world characterized by prosperity, genuine democracy, peace, equity and equality, social justice, and ethical use of all resources. And we are convinced we can co-create this just new world through high-quality hybrid teaching together with transdisciplinary research and social engagement that is impactful. And of course, this co-creation must harness the collective expertise, energies, and goodwill of our family of alumni, among whom you, the citizens graduates, can now be counted. As the new alumni of the Investor of Pretoria, remember the values from UP to always strive for excellence, persevere, respect everyone, be creative, innovate, embrace diversity, grow, be a lifelong learner, be kind, and make a difference every day. This is what makes the UP way of life. I appeal to you to be part of our quest to rethink, reimagine, and reposition the investor Pretoria, and in so doing, contribute to the co-creation of the Africa we want. Please take the next step by downloading the UP Connect Graduate app. 
keeping you connected to your alma mater and offering access to the many opportunities available to our alumni wherever in the world you are. Remember to always keep in contact with the alumni office at UP and let us know when your contact details change. No matter where you end up in the world, remember that you are part of the UP family, whose overarching strength is its diversity in terms of staff, students, the programs offered, and areas of research that define its excellence. We are an institution on its way to becoming a beacon for demographic diversity and inclusivity, a future-oriented and focused university that is a driver of social change. Congratulations on your graduation and enjoy the celebrations with your loved ones. Take pride in the sense of achievement that comes with knowing that you have excelled against all odds. I hereby confer and award all degrees and diplomas in absentia with the associated rights and privileges to all candidates whose names appear in the graduation program. Postgraduate Diploma Business Administration Muhammad Abu Bakr Yasser Adamu Laura Alvarez Biorno Catherine Atkinson with distinction Elon Bailey Hendrik Basson with distinction Casey Bakker Kaylee Bursix Trisha Bula Greg Buchanan John Bullock, Sarah Campbell with distinction, Kiara Kosani, Sophia Fulcini, Sibongile Gama, Sikumbuzo Gama, Tamara Govansami, Rais Hajat, Jesse James, Brittany Joff. Cregan John Jimmy Garajo Tikara Gegana Lesibana Khadima Jeanette Khwale Kutluano Khwabane Katlejo Kabi Pumelele Kubeka Mihlali Litlaka Georgia Lupini Kopano Mabeba Nicholas Massendo Rebecca Macmillan Mpo Mahanke Sandhya Maharaj Dimpo Majatladi Emma Mahabo Tsepo Malaka Herman Malachi Karabo Malope Ngalava Maluleke Khutso Mamabolo, Lebohang Manamela, Francesco Mariano, Farai Masimira, Vamisile Mbata, Basani Mbalati, Mtunzi Mluli, Nicole Mayerson with distinction, Tolani Mklanga, Daniel Mulshado, Keisha Mitchell Ndombentle Ngomezulu Refilwe Mofogeng Osejo Mojajabe Presley Mokobi Neo Mokori Ofense Mokwabona Tamsanga Maloi Ntebocheleng Monyake Sehofatsu More Lebohang Moshe Trevor Motiane Teboho Motsi Fezeka Mpofu Ndabezintle Mpungose Tando Mtsweni Ndondeni Mudao Muriki Muriyuki Zakele Mvuyane James Nain Andile Nlovu Luyanda Nzuke Muchinya Neluheni Londi Nemarumane 
Gavin Newfield Zimasa Ngobozi Jerome Ngiba Kanisile Ngiti Cabelo Nguenya Sibongile Nlapo Tembisile Nlapo Marhi Nechrini Lesejo Nkate Gina Nowitz Nomvuselelo Nchona Ngaitisi Ntulini Alexandra Panas Sarah Lee Parkinson Sandiso Peter Carla Phillips Crescent Pillay Joshua Pincus Daryl Pitt Holly Pope Jenna Proskovitz Takalani Ralepata Ushir Ramlakan Ashutosh Ramprasad Tato Raselabe Oliver Rees Emmanuel Roaterera Joshua Sack with distinction Lesedi Siko Fundiswa Sishi Nozizwe Sumgesi Kisinde Siebele Lebohang Tobejane Tepang Tioja Keitlin Ulbricht Yolanda van de Spring Shanae van Hoeve Claire Wolforth Liso Yeko Business Administration Business Studies Natasha Ambrosio Navashni Bagirathi Kenneth Boykutswane Clinton Chetty Juareja Dambuzo Nola Lamini Tisetso Dianti Elizabeth Gicharu Musonda Kambikambi Elias Letlape Catherine Makokera Busiswa Matibe Zakele Mbata Harikai Mutongorea Aino Mvula Alan Mwamba Ngaitisi Ngomane Henry Njoroke Kanyisa Nguna Lungelo Nomvalo Ayobami Oladejo Emmanuel Osembo Dirk Skepers Kubashni Venkatraman Simpiwe Zondi Hermanus Zulch General Management Amit Abraham Chesre Abrahams Rahsan Adolf Tariq Ahmed Avesh Ajuda Stacy Ehlers Fernal Anthony Zachariah Badat Nomdeni Banda Slondiwe Banda Karl Baumeister Hichu Bezeidenhout Johannes Bleker Shah Butha Simon Bopape Willem Bosov Quinton Boyens Danico Brand Bianca Branford James Britton Abigail Britton Clive Brooks Ayanda Butelezi Roberto Catanjo Zamogutle Tele Gwent Chanakira Chi Chang Andrew Chapman Mosadi Wapula Charlie Darren Chetty Laneshri Chetty Nyasha Chidavayenzi Matome Chilowane Shingai Chiviru Liesel Craig John Criticos Roberto da Silva Dumisani da Kile Balanganani Dama Skalk de Vol Egmont Denishin Ferdinand Depenor Lindiwe Lamini Njabulo Lamini 
Pretty Lamini, Natasha Dukes, Mantombi Dube, Kasim Fakir, Beka Fakude, Jean Pierre Furi, Johannes Furi, Joash Gabriel, Shivaji Kadave, Unati Gama, Shingan, Glenis Ganas, Bajabulile Gigaba, Nkululeko Gojela, Quillen Govinda, Ravesha Govinda, Lonston Gawera, Nelius Grief, Willem Grunewald, Annelisa Guadiso, Chantal Hadfield, Irfan Hansa, Asha Haribai, Olive Hotnik, May He, Amy Henning, John Hodgson Jervis, Elaine Holmes, Ibrahim Hussein, Mike James, Nishal Jogi, Ryan Hubert, Terence Kaswa, Katlejo Kekana, Mantluane Khobe, Umer Khan, Patience Koza, Zintle Koza, Ebulengosi Kumalo, Samuel Kumalo, Spongagonke Kumalo, Dumani Kozwayo, Matsepo Koape, Marnes Quertz, Johan Kriege, Karabo Lechotoane, Lerato Lekema, Vincent Lekoma, Sekile Lengao, Kahiso Lenghoabane, Rato Lepale, Putejo Lesenia, Bradley Lohman, Nozipivo Lubanga, Nlanganiso Mabuza, Gefilwe Madinghoane, Nozipo Madlala, Kahiso Mafache, Rifilwe Mafiri, Nicola Mahede, Klin Maharaj, Mandla Mashangu, Piwagutle Mashangu, Tabile Mashangu, Tepo Maketela, Mamulokwe Mahelidisa, Dineo Makamba, Kolodi Makola, Nomzabalazo Makubalo, Tsunduka Makumbani, Feynand Malan, Tepo Maleke, Arshad Malik, Mohadi Maloba, Eugenia Mampi, Fulufelo Maninje, Ndombefuti Magnoni, Rulof Marie, Raymond Marie, Mpo Maringa, Nandisile Maripane, Craig Marston, Christopher Martin, Christopher Martinez, Ashilach Marufu, John Maruma, Tsepo Masijo, Mpo Masisi, Martin Masitise, Lungile Masondo, Jeffrey Masuta, Jacqueline Materu, Koena Matato, Neo Mateba, Biatlela Matopa, Stelio Matthias, Joachelo Machi, Nolulamu Matutu, Mesuli Mbanjwa, Kulekani Mlovu, Nicholas Meyer, Gukukazi Ngutu, Lorraine Mgwenya, Siabonga Mshambi, Sintu Mshonyane, David Mulwitski, Lesna Mistre, Mangroba Mkabela, Sile Mkize, Andiswa Mlisa, Faith Neno, Komozo Modise, Joalatle Moeng, Kevin Mohale, Harold Mohale, Spongumusa Mohiba, Raymond Mohlala, 
Kelezzo, Mokabane, Molise, Mokandiniana, Algen, Mokoatle, Maloko, Molefe, Steven, Molefe, Tato, Moloi, Lebohang, Moloto, Session, Mudli, Nkhoako, Moremi, Temba, Mota, Kavish, Mothilal, Kolofelo, Motopeng, Homotsehang, Motwa, Sylvester, Moyo, Zibusiso, Moyo, Mashukudu, Mbe, Klengiwe, Msibi, Pilani, Mtembu, Iva, Mtimunye, Bokang, Mtupa, Erastus, Mtweni, Tandeka, Mtweni, Fungai, Mukaratiwa, Musenga, Mukosa, Mpo, Munyai, Deboho, Mushi, Sibyl, Musundi, Fibian, Mutibura, George, Mamlowe, Hendrik, Maiberg, Dumisani, Mzamo, Uma, Nadim, Bali, Alicia, Naidu, Antronica, Naidu, Caroline, Naidu, Morgendran, Naidu, Neil, Naidu, Yogentran, Naidu, Reynold, Naik, Pumza, Nakani, Julian, Narain, Sami, Lorraine, Ngube, Gloria, Nanguzi, Seneliso, Ndebele, Ntlantla, Ndlovu, Sibusiso, Ndlovu, Nogwetemba, Ndwandwe, Ndashe, Ndiamba, Kelebohile, Nefale, Lungisani, Nefale, Matabe, Ngaga, Muchanyara, Ngandu, Stanley, Ngema, Noluvo, Ngewabe, Atenkose, Gubevana, Bekilizbe, Ngwane, Tutuzile, Ntlabati, Lindogutle, Ntlapo, Yolanda, Nganghana, Rebecca, Nkhudi, Peteni, Nkuna, Posha, Nkuna, Ntandose, Nonoise, Nande, Koloba, Tabiso, Ntatakane, Lesejo, Nchabeleng, Mtolisi, Nchangase, Renilwe, Nchbarang, Koliwe, Ntonta, Sandile, Ntuli, Siabonga, Ngumalo, Musiwa, Nyadzani, Tafadzwa, Nyahano, Bongani, Nyati, Busiso, Nyoni, Bekumdeni, Nzama, Michael Olafir, Olusegun Omoniwa, Samandri Parayachi, Chanel Parayachi, Amdut Partab, Cornelius Piet, Samuel Perumal, Chachamatso Patlane, Limpo Peko, Sukiswa Phillips, Kelezo Piri, Eugene Pinar, Chrysantha Pillay, Magdalene Pillay, Prathiva Pillay, Priyadashni Pillay, Vaughn Pillay, Lerato Plaikis, Gerardus Potgieter, Ashish Prithiraj, Savas Ravthapoulos, Valencia Raja, Jaco Ramahali, Abinash Ramsari, Irvin Rambal, Jessica Ramlal, Tabang Rapetswa, Wasim Rawat, Jermaine Reddy, Surendran Reddy, Johannes Ruiz, Andrei Rousseau, Naomi Rukpath, Mitesh Rugununan, Warren Sachs with distinction, Lukman Salasa, Sibungile Sambo, Shanil Sarawan, Aisha Sidat, Quena Seopa, T. 
Tito se poloane, Rifilwe se cedi, Nihim Shaik, Ngobi Shandu, Brandon Shaw, Luleki Shongwe, Nzwana Nai Shoniwa, Dinika Singh, Yasvand Singh, Alexandra Sly, Hendrik Smith, Subas So, William Steinberg, Darren Sturton, Ashmir Sukdio, Mpumzi Swana, Jacqueline Swart, Precious Tao, Mark Thompson, Sandra Thompson, Cuthbert Tinavapi, Nontendo Tony, Guguletu Chuma, Rifilwe Tsotsi, Rebecca Twala, Brandon Irwin, Gerard van der Merwe, Werner van der Merwe, Daniel van Heerden, Janni van Seil, Gary Vaughan, Robin Villagazi, Menesia Wilho, Adal Foster, Jacobus White, Amy Lee Williams, Samantha Lee Williams, Annika Volmerans, Lynn Yeats, John Zama, Frederick Zitzman, Avatendi Zwane, Dutu Zwane, Stabile Zwane. Achievement Awards, PDBA. The top PDBA student. The prize is shared. Catherine Atkinson, Sarah Campbell. The Economics, Prices and Markets Award. Catherine Atkinson. The Entrepreneurship Award. Sarah Lee Parkinson. The Ethics and Sustainability Award. Sandhya Maharaj. The Financial Accounting Award. The prize is shared. Catherine Atkinson. Nicole Mayerson. Human Resource Strategy Award. Caitlin Ulbricht. The Information and Knowledge Management Award. Carla Phillips. The Innovation and Critical Thinking Award. Basani Balati. The Integrating Structures and Processes Award. Jeanette Khoale. The Macroeconomics Award. Basani Balati. The Management Accounting Award. Sarah Campbell. The Marketing Award. Hendrik Basson. The Operations Management Award. Ashutosh Rampasad. The Organizational Behavior Award. Joshua Sack. PGDIP Business Studies. The top postgraduate diploma business studies student. Lungelo Nomvalo. The Principles of Qualitative Research Award. Nivashni Bhagirathi. The Principles of Quantitative Research Award. Clinton Chetty. Research Design Award, Catherine Makokera. The Thematic Studies Module 1 Award, Lungelo Nomvalo. The Thematic Studies Module 2 Award, Lungelo Nomvalo. The Thematic Studies Module 3 Award, Juareja Dambuzo. The Integrative Research Award, Nevashni Bagirathi. PGDIP General Management The Overall Top PGDIP GM Student Award Warren Sachs The Applied Business Project Award The Prize is Shared James Britton Quillen Govender Rato Lepale Jeffrey Masuta Stephen Molefe Dutuzile Ntlabati Irvin Rambao Nehim Sheikh. The Business Communication for Impact Award, Lungile Masondo. The Financial Management Accounting Award, Warren Sachs. 
the Human Behaviour and Performance Award, Alicia Naidu. The Human Resource Strategy Award, Peteni Nguna. The Macroeconomics Competitiveness Award, Michael Olifir. The Marketing Award, the prize is shared. Wasim Rawat, Warren Sachs, Jacqueline Swart, Daniel van Heerden. The Microeconomics, Prices and Markets Award, Sandra Thompson. The Operations Management Award, Lerato Lekema. The Research and Statistics Award, Alexandra Sly. Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I would like to thank the families, friends and spouses for supporting our graduates during their studies. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. Please join us in singing the national anthem. By the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria.